Hello! So today I'm gonna show you what I did during the live the other day because it got cut off at the end. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so to make this, you're gonna need to make a title clip um, with a rectangle like this. So you do project add title clip. And then if you, you click Alt R, you can make a rectangle. You can also just add it with this little thing here. And then you want the middle to be transparent. So put the alpha channel at zero. And you want a border uh, with some color. So you can do whatever color you want. Let's say I want it yellow this time around. Like, yeah. Okay. And the border width, you need to change it to like, I don't know, 20? Yeah, 20 looks good. And then you can create title. And then it's gonna be somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Also add a black rectangle in the background because then it look it works with the blurs. If you don't do that, and uh, the blur is gonna look weird. And since I want it to look neon, yeah. And then you can change uh, the like. Yeah, where, you know, the stacking objects. And you can update it, and it's great. So this is gonna be your first one, and you're gonna actually copy and paste it once. And add some blur to the bottom one. Just the normal one should be okay. Just gonna hide the blue higher track so I can see what I'm doing. Change the blur to, I don't know, whatever I most like. So like this, looks kind of nice. And then I can show the first one again. And on this one, I'm gonna add some glow. Uh, maybe a bit more. And then between the two, you're gonna need to add a screen transition, so I'm actually going to add a composite and transform screen because uh, I like it, but you can just do screen. And then it looks glowy. Um, then you're going to need some background, so I, well, it can be whatever, so I'm just going to put nothing for now, but yeah, you can put it on whatever you want. You um, so again, composite and transform because I like it, uh, and I'm gonna put it in the little corner here. Right, I'm gonna put the the background because then it can move. Else, I won't see it. And then again, screen, and so it is showing up here. And then I'm gonna animate it. So I'm not sure I'm gonna remake the whole thing because that took a while. Uh, so I'm gonna, just gonna show you the steps. So I used rotoscoping, so you can just look in the effects for rotoscoping. And then you're gonna go around the whole thing and at each step you're gonna need to move the mask a little bit so that the text shows like you see it here. So yeah, actually you're gonna need to do the rotoscoping before you move it, because else it's gonna be hell. Um, so yeah, you can see that it's moving, and then, so my text is uh, turning. So I'm just gonna not redo it here, because yeah. And then I added some text. Um, so yeah, I had chosen a random name, and it's coming from the side, and yeah. So here we have a few keyframes to make it a bit smoother. So first it's far back, then it goes a bit inside, then a bit more, and then it comes back. And the whole with smooth keyframes. And same on the other side, and I made sure to make it enter like right when the like neon thing was coming here. And I'm pretty sure this is all there is to it. Uh, so I hope you like it. Um, yeah, but oh yeah, I'm just gonna show you this one. It's the same thing, coming from the side. 
um yeah so i hope you like it and i'll be back next week sorry i wasn't here for a while i took a bit of vacation and then i was really busy with work um so yeah see you later bye bye